it's me Afro Story and I am going to show you guys my regimen for detangling and conditioning and moisturizing my hair and I did most of it already in the shower but I saved one more section to show you guys exactly step by step how I do it. The first thing you want to make sure that you do is dampen your hair. Preferably I like it when it's wet that's why I do this when I'm in the shower um, and then I apply my conditioner to my hair. And I'm very generous with my conditioner and I prefer leave-on conditioners because um, as I'm conditioning it I don't like to rinse all of the conditioner out so I tend to look for conditioners that have a leave-in quality or can be used as a daily moisturizer and again this one that I'm using right now um, is by Shea Moisture it's their hair milk and I've doctored it up using extra virgin olive oil um, vegetable glycerin a little bit of um, lemongrass for fragrance okay so I got that in there pretty good hopefully you can see how that looks and I like to wet my comb my wide tooth comb I actually like to wet it just to give it added slippage as I'm detangling and I start from the end and I work my way up to the root of my hair so hopefully you can see that okay so I do that like so and sometimes if I haven't detangled my hair in a while because I wore a long-term protective style and I would wash and condition my hair in the style I'll apply the conditioner a second time so I apply a second time and then I'll use either my Denman brush or a rat tail comb and I prefer a rat tail comb because sometimes the Denman brush um, all the little small bristles in it tend to give me unnecessary detangling after I've already used a wide tail comb, wide tooth comb. So I'll use a rat tail comb because it's just one row of one row of teeth, whereas the Denman brush has several rows of teeth to go through. And I'll do that again. Again, I'll wet my comb, the teeth of it, I'll wet it. And then I'll just go through it again. And I need uh, actually a little bit more conditioning because I like this to have a lot of slippage okay and then so I'll just go through it like that and you can see that process very careful when I detangle using the rat tail comb because it's very small teeth and I only detangle with this after I've extensively detangled with the wide tooth comb and then after I'm done with that I'll twist my hair up like so Once I get to the end of my hair, like right there, I use the rat tail comb again. And then I'll just twist that. Okay. And that's the finished product. My detangled hair all detangled yay <laughs> okay and then this will dry and it'll shrink up um, which is what 
um, natural hair does. And that's it, basically. That's all. That's all, folks. And so now I'm gonna put it up with the rest of my hair. And you see this has kind of already started to, to dry and even unravel because I had it up at the top of my hair while I was um, putting on my lotion and stuff. So the roots of these are already starting to dry. But yeah, that's how I detangle my hair. So I put it up like this just to let it air dry, let my hair air dry. And um, right when it, right before it gets completely dry, I take this loose and I put it in smaller twists and I reapply my moisturizer. And that's what I'll do when I go to sleep. That's everything for my regimen. It's actually pretty simple. I think the longer my hair gets, the more simple I get with it. Um, if anything, the main thing my hair likes is when I leave it alone. I just feel that my hair is a lot healthier when I'm not manipulating it as much. So I'm definitely the queen when it comes to long-term protective styling. I do not really deviate from what works for me. And so you have to find out what works for you. This is my regimen. And yeah. And if you have a regimen that you'd like to share or something that you've integrated into your pre-existing regimen, then definitely... Um, comment below or give a video response and we can learn from each other so I hope y'all enjoy this video and remember within all of us is a story if you never tell it you never know the person so definitely be bold be brave be confident be fierce and tell your story or no one else will see you later bye